I'm Daniel Tamage and in this video I'm going to be explaining callback topics and why you would want to use callback topics in your architecture. So unlike synchronous request driven solutions where the result of an operation comes back in the response, in the event driven world because of the loose coupling between publishers and the consumers of events you need to notify the publisher or a process via different means. You can't just return back a response. And one approach is to use callback topics. But before I go through that approach, let's run through different use cases where you may not need to introduce callback topics. So, so the first use case I'm showing is when you have one process and you know that any event which ends up in the event topic should be handled by a individual consuming service. And in this diagram, I'm also showing that there might be other services or processes which would need to perform an action on the outcome events. However, as you add more processes, which are also publishing command events, one generic result handler to cater for the multiple processes may not fit your solution design. So you would probably have the need for different services to handle the different outcomes for the different processes. For example, it could be a different system. However, if you are only using one topic, you would need to consume all the events, all the messages in that topic, and you'd have to filter out the messages which do not belong to the particular process or system, which could be costly. Now, of course, you can implement your solutions using this approach, using the one topic. However, I've found that actually publishing two specific topics can actually be a better uh, approach in certain use cases. Obviously, you need to look at the trade-offs between the two when you come to it. But let's dive into the callback topics now. So a callback topic allows you to publish the outcome of an operation to a specific topic which allows you to have only the consumers which need to know about a particular message from for a particular process listening to particular topics. Now, why do I call this approach callback topics? Well, first, I use it a lot with Apache Kafka and I use the word callback because the publisher of the triggering event informs the processor where to publish the result. And I do this by publishing in the message a callback reference ID, which could be an identifier for a particular object, which could be used later to correlate and reconcile uh, the outcome of an object, a request or a session. And the second field I'm showing here in the message is the name of the topic which I want the processor to call back to publish the event to. So once when the processor has consumed and processed the message and it's, and it's ready to publish the outcome, it would check to see if the two fields are populated, if it has a value. And if they do have a value, it would then generate a message with the result of that operation and publish that message to the particular callback topic. And that message would also contain the callback reference ID, which was passed in the original message, so that the consumer of that event can use that identifier to correlate and reconcile objects which it's uh, needing to process. I'd also publish the name of the operation. Now, why would I be publishing the name of the operation? Because the a uh, consumer may actually be an orchestration service and what is actually in that topic might actually be messages from other services as well. So when the consuming service reads the messages, it would need to know what is in the name of the operation which is publishing its result. And of course, we would still publish the general outcome topic so that any service required to know about the outcome can be triggered to perform an action when that event occurs. And that's how you can implement callback topics. And if you was publishing from, let's say, processor free, the callback topic which would be published would indicate it's callback free, and then the processor would then publish it to callback free. 
callback topics is a very simple but very effective uh, way of notifying other processors directly of an outcome without tightly coupling services together. So hopefully you can put them to good use. I have over the last couple of years, so hopefully you can as well. Now, please smash that like button if you have found this video to be useful and thank you for watching.